it's going to be cooling down here soon and these uh, red garnet sweet potatoes have been in this grow bag for well over 120 days it's hard to tell there's a grow bag down there but there he is what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut around the bag and then I'll drag it out put it on a tarp and we'll see what we have I trimmed around it now we can at least see the grow bag I don't know if we got any potatoes but we're getting ready to find out here pretty quick before I trim up the top a little bit and we get into the bag I wanted to show you the bottom of the grow bag uh, just in case there are folks out there who are thinking about using grow bags and want to know a little bit more about them this bag was kind of an experiment I just took a whole sweet potato and then I cut another one in half and I stuck them in here instead of growing with slips kind of heavy but look at the bottom you can see that some of the roots do actually come out in the bottom but this bag's several years old and it's still doing great and I can still lift it by the handles and everything that one came out the seam so it got a little bit bigger but let's just uh, trim this up now and then I'll dump it out and we'll see what we have all right let's dump this thing out and see what we have one thing i ought to tell you is that sometimes the foliage will drape over the bag and start growing on the ground actually it'll root on the ground and sometimes i found that the sweet potatoes in the ground will actually produce more sweet potatoes than what you have in the bag i hope hope we get a few in here but we'll see what we got Not seeing much. Not good. <laughs> Here's one. Get some of this dirt on. Well, we got some. Yeah, I see them now. Oh, yeah, we got some. Not sure how many, but seeing them now. There's a decent size one. I'll just start breaking these off. Some of these are decent size and some of them not so much. Yeah, there, there's some potatoes in here. Yeah, there's quite a few scattered around yeah well that little one here I can see where they get the name red garnet that's really red compared to some of these other ones we got some more that are hidden in here it's a decent harvest normally I don't wash off the potatoes but I think I probably have to wash some of these off Another little one. Let's see if I can get some of these out. There's another one. There's quite a few little bitty ones. I'm, I'm guessing we're going to do pretty well in the ground because there's a lot of potatoes in this bag. there's some long skinny ones here and some of these longer skinny ones I think I might just try to save them through till next year but it looks like we're still forming potatoes we got quite a few here well looks like that one didn't want to break loose okay I think I think that's about all of that one 
Looks like those original potatoes that I stuck in here might have just can't see them, so they might have just uh, decomposed. I'm not sure. I don't see the original, but let me get these piled up where you can see them better, and we'll take a closer look. Some of these potatoes aren't as big as the ones you see in the grocery store, but we got quite a few of them. And I'm thinking some of these smaller ones like this one, maybe I can save those uh, to use as stars for next year. But I'm happy with what we got. I really wasn't expecting this much uh, by the looks of all the foliage on top, but I think we did all right. If you're wondering why these potatoes look a little dirty looking, it's something that people used to call soil stain, but uh, now it's commonly called scurf. It's a fungus that just affects the skin of the sweet potato. They're still edible, they just don't look as good as if they didn't have scurf. And the nice thing about scurf, if there is a nice thing, is that it only affects sweet potatoes and morning glories and no other plants. I'll just go ahead and break one open so you can see that the inside looks perfectly fine. I broke one open so you can see what the flesh looks like. If you're just now finding this channel, please subscribe. We'll see you next time.